here to talk about all things makeup. Ooh, all things. Back when you first started, how hard was it for you to find sort of like makeup products to fit dark skin or just women of color? Um, fashion fair. <laughs> Thank God for fashion fair. Fashion fair was the big thing. Mm -hmm. um, all things foundation, mm -hmm. all right. things lipstick, and um, the good old Maybelline, mm -hmm. you know, last yeah. year in the red liner. But um, so those were the go-tos at the particular time, and um, it wasn't until uh, I really started doing more theatrical stuff that I was introduced into cinematic makeup, which is very different than your everyday makeup. Right. So um, that's when I was introduced to the big nines. Right. And um, that was pretty much a, a go-to at a particular time because it had all kinds of shades right. and contours and all of that. I wanted to know, do, do you prefer like full wheat or maybe like a natural, everyday, just a little brown lip or do you want to be like super damn? It depends. Oh, because I was like, as soon as you walked in, I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> so it, it depends on the event. It depends on, you know, what I'm doing. Every day, no, I'm mm -hmm. normally baseball cap, yeah. sweats, you know what I mean? Very minimal. For um, for going out, you know, I love to zhush, mm -hmm. you know. Lips have always been my thing. I was teased uh, as a kid, you know, for having big lips, but now it's one of the things that I embrace the most. Really? Yeah. 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 So. What, is, what are some of your favorite, let's say, lipsticks? Ooh, um, anything by Mac, pretty much. Really? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I love the Viva Glams. I love. Um, you know, I always, I, I think that's the first thing that I've gone with with makeup artists. You know, it's like, let me see your palette mm -hmm. of the color, and mm -hmm. then we can play. I love um, mixing and blending different colors, you know what I mean, to find that one perfect thing because, you know, you just may not have that color. Right. You know, it's like, oh, well, let's go with the dark, with the pink, yeah. because that and the other. Um, I like glosses. I've gotten into shears yeah. a lot. So, um, and it doesn't have to be back. I'm good with CVS and beauty supply. Right. You know right. what I mean? Because exactly. it, it all serves the same purpose. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, until they put that little tag on it, it's, it's pretty much the same yeah. 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 Do you sometimes feel a little like insecure with having so much makeup on, or does it like boost your confidence? Because there's been a lot of talk about you know people who wear a lot of makeup are insecure inside, like they don't really love who they are. Mm -hmm. So do you really feel maybe really, like a little less down on yourself because you're too glam. I'm not really sure how to put it. No, 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 you put it very well. I, like I said, it's like some days I'm a baseball cap mm -hmm. and I'm so mm -hmm. um, Red carpet events, yeah, you know. And sometimes, you know, I've had makeup artists, you know, I've worked in Atlanta a lot. <laughs> and everybody's after a housewife in Atlanta. So, uh, where it's gotten way too heavy and lighting can play a trick. Mm -hmm. And it could show those things that you didn't see right. before, right. and then you get the picture, and it's like, oh my God, wow! You know, mm -hmm. you see everything from right. um, you know every inch of contour, every inch of you know highlight, and all of that. So it does play a factor into, especially now that you're in social media. Exactly. Well, I personally don't feel like makeup is a sign of insecurity at all. I think it enhances the feature that you already mm -hmm. have. And simply playing around with different, like different ways you can make yourself. Like it's all, it's all ties in the heart for me. Now I don't say necessarily insecure, but that wrong image to get out. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, you know, it's a mess. Right. And it's not just the makeup. It's you know, it's everything. It could be the True. only product. You know, it's like okay. That lip color didn't go with that outfit, mm -hmm. that brow, that, you know, that shadow right. didn't go with that particular look. And that matters sometimes. It matters. It, it matters. really matters, especially on the carpet mm -hmm. when you're trying to, you know. Are you, are you interested in doing um, TV, film, print, as to oil? Um, it's an interest, but it's not my first. I'm more of a runway fashion show, oh. you know, on the move. Or where I can make you like real vibrant, you know. I like that real beat face. I was looking into um, that makeup they do for, you know, like 
war movies, how they mm, you know, special effects, yes. prosthetics. Yes, and I and I seen it once and I was so amazed with it. But I tried it like on Halloween. I was trying to do the stabs and stars. Uh -huh. It's something I have to work on, but I thought it was just so amazing. Wow. Eyeshadow is my favorite thing to do. Really? I love it. I I love it so much. I love big vibrant. Like I'll do real crazy pink eye, purple. Like I love that kind of stuff. Have you done any fashion shows? Yeah, I've, I've done a few, but nothing huge, like where I'm trying to be, like groundbreaking. So. Yet? Yet. That's what, yet. We so. just had a, um, a workshop and a fashion show, actually, where our students here, uh, Samira Rahim, her um, Instagram is This Is How I Look. She, is, she does like New York fashion week. Really? New York's fashion week. Um, I want to type in, you know, 
makeup for dark skin. Or like I've been um, looking at a lot of the Coachella makeup. I love the little flexible makeup. They have jewels in their face and stuff. Oh wow. That's pretty much all I have oh, to ask of you. I just really wanted to get in the background of what you thought about makeup and how you mm -hmm. felt about, you know, all things makeup. You know, mm -hmm. being from every day to being on the scene and being in front of a big camera. So mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we touched up on all of those areas. And I'm really glad to be sitting here next to you. I'm really happy. I'm happy. This is me. So I'm happy. Hold it together. No, don't hold it together. Please don't hold it together. Look, she's the only one that's holding it together. <laughs> Well, I can't wait for you to meet some of the young ladies. I'm in the last town. Do you have a theme for today which you're going to do for them? Um, I was thinking more natural. I was going to do um, like two dramatics, but slightly late in the day. So I was thinking like a natural, like soft beat where they could, you know, go outside and walk around there. Right? Like all eyes would typically be on them, but mm -hmm. they would still look good. Baby, did you want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>